so we have a little situation. In the South, y'all, an issue, a problem, a change, any of those things, it's called a situation. But for you, it's, we have a little situation. And the situation involves Maxie and Pollux. Mm-hmm. So hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Renee and you all know my dogs, Maxie and Pollux. And this little situation went down about two months ago. And when it happened, I thought, okay, it's fine. No big deal. I'll deal with it later. Well, now is later. It is now two and a half months later and this has got to be taken care of. So let me bring you up to speed and tell you what went on with these two guys. Maxie is a white miniature schnauzer. He has been going to the same groomer. Oh, let me interrupt you. By the way, Maxie's birthday is coming up next week. But he has been going to the same groomer for, I don't know, six or seven years. I take him every six to eight weeks. He gets a bath. He gets his toenails trimmed. He gets groomed. He gets a stouser cut. And that's that. Since we adopted Pollux one year ago, Pollux is not a dog that needs to be groomed. But just to socialize him, I take him along to the groomer, Pollux gets a bath, and he gets his toenails trimmed. That's that. Well, several months ago, our groomer sold her business. She moved out of state and she sold it to some new people who didn't know anything about dog grooming. All of the groomers who were worked at this place um, left. None of them stayed when there was new ownership. And so over the course of the past six or seven or eight months, I don't know how long it's been going on, they have been bringing in new groomers. A couple months ago, the they actually moved their dog grooming facility from one building up the street to another building. When we took Maxie and Pollux to get groomed after we got home from our beach vacation in October, Maxie was just a matted up mess. His little skirt was just cool. From, from tromping in the salt water all week, he was just a mess. And so I had an appointment to get him groomed. When I went to pick up the dogs, the groomer said to me that Maxie has been acting up lately and if I wanted to continue to bring my dogs there, I was going to have to stay Maxie. Do you know what I said? If you've been on my channel for any length of time, you know exactly what I said. Uh, but to put it nicely, I told her, no way, lady. It's not happening. I am not sedating my dogs to bring them to get a haircut. Oh, 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 and let me tell you something else. She also informed me that it is so difficult to give Pollux a bath. She is going to now charge me $65. So I promptly removed all of my future appointments from her schedule and we have not been back. Do y'all see anything wrong with this picture? I see lots of things wrong with this picture. So fast forward today, it is early January. Maxie has not been groomed in two and a half months. Pollux has not had a bath and neither of them have had their toe nails trimmed. And that brings me to my problem today, their toenails. Pollux. Can we see them? Can we see them? Are you gonna stick them out? Mooey, can we see them? Oh, oh, there they are. Guys, are we gonna go see Dr. Kelly today and get your toenails taken care of? Pollux, can we just see? I just want to see your foot, Pollux. Can I just see? Can I see your toenails, Moo? Let's see. Let me see them. Ooh, yeah, not good. Y'all, look at Pollux's toenails. His nails grow faster than any dog I've ever had. Like, it is insane how fast his toenails grow. And the past couple of times we went to this groomer, she wasn't able to trim Pollux's toenails. She just said she just couldn't do it. So I started taking him to our vet every, you know, so often, and the vet will trim his nails. And that's where we're going today, y'all. I'm loading up these two. We have an appointment this afternoon. We're gonna pull up to the vet. We're gonna get toenails trimmed, and then we're gonna come back home. But my, the point of my story is this. I wanted to show you a couple things that I've been trying to do to take care of their toenails to prevent us from having to go to the vet. I bought one of these pet toenail grinder things on Amazon, 
and I thought, you know what, I might be able to pull this off. So we'll order this thing the other day. It looks like this. It comes with the USB charger and you just pop off the lid and there's a grinding mechanism. Okay, I wish I had had my camera going when I did this. I tried it yesterday. Got it all charged up, sat on the couch with Maxie and started doing his toenails. Oh my gosh, y'all, this thing rocks. I was able to do about three toenails on Maxie's. He didn't even care. I thought he was gonna freak out. Totally didn't care. Let me tell you what, let me show you what this sounds like. Oh, that got somebody's attention. There's a low speed and high speed. Right, Pollux? <laughs> He's gonna take off now. But anyway, you just take their little toenail and you put it on this grinding mechanism. It just kind of grinds down their toenail. So I sat on the couch and I did three of Maxie's toenails. He did not care. He just sat there and let me do it. Until about toenail number three, you know the smell that would come off of this if you started grinding your fingernails? You could start getting that smell. Maxie said, oh no, you're not doing that anymore. He didn't like the smell. The point of me showing this to you is, if you have a puppy or a new dog in your house, I think this is something that would be fantastic. Start them off as a puppy, start them off young, get them used to the sound, get them used to the smell. And I actually still do think that if I just keep working on Maxie a little bit with this, I think that I will. he will get used to it enough that I can do his toenails. Pollux, on the other hand, um, heck no, he said. Pollux does not like his feet touched regardless, period. He does not want me to touch his feet. And even the vet is like, this dude does not like his feet touched. And that's just how it is. Pollux has a dew claw, you know, that inner, inner claw that grows right there. And it grows, I swear, at like triple the speed of all of his other toenails. I do have a pair of these little clippers. And when we first got Pollux, I used to be able to walk up and get the dew claws with this. But now he knows what this looks like and when he sees me coming, he takes off. Like, it, it's not happening. Plus, I feel really bad. Like, I have in the past, you know, gotten their cuticle and it's bled and I'm just, it scares me. I'm scared, he senses that I'm scared and he takes off. So, today, we're taking the dogs to the vet to get their toenails trimmed. And if I'm really just in a mood, I may give Maxie a bath. I don't know, we'll see. But I wanted to bring you up to speed on our situation, our mishap, our happening, uh, whatever is going on here with these two and our toenails. If you all have a great solution, how do you take care of your dog's toenails? Let me know. Does the groomer do it? Do you do it? Do you use a clipper? Do you use a grinder? Like, let me know how you take care of your dog's nails because this is a huge problem in our house. So for the next, I don't know when, Maxie is gonna look like a hot mess because I'm not taking him to the groomer. It's winter, I'm just gonna let him grow out. He's gonna have curly hair. I'm gonna take, I do have some little like, scissors. I'm going to trim his brows, try to just trim the things that need to be trimmed, but he's going to look like a mess. So here we are headed to the vet. And one of the best things y'all have ever purchased is this car seat cover. Straps the dogs in. They're safe. They're not tearing up my car. It's just, it is fantastic. It's available on Amazon. I'll link it below if you're interested, but fantastic purchase. Ready guys? Where are we going Maxers? Who's going in first? Pollux, you want to go in first or the Mui? We're home from the vet and it was a good thing we went because I learned a couple things. Took Maxie in first. I said, need his toenails trimmed and we need to get the hair out of his ears because our groomer says she can't do it. Maxie acts up, she can't get the hair out of his ears. Vet says, no problem, I got it. Comes back out with Maxie and says, uh, his ears were horrible. You need to find a new groomer. Maxie's ears were so compacted with hair because the groomer tells me she can't get the hair out. 
Um, they had to do a little bit of work to get the hair out of Maxie's ears. So much better now, but his ears were a little bit tender, so they told me to put some Neosporin in there when we went to bed tonight, and it'll be just fine. Moo wee, can we see your toenails now, Moo? Hop up there, I see them. All right. So, Mama, your toenails, let's see. <gasps> so much better. Oh, they're so much better. All right, can we see your ear? I know your ears are a little sore. Look, no chicken in the ears. Yay, Moo. Such a good boy. Turned out to be a big day, didn't it, buddy? Unexpected big day. Let's see if we can get a look at Pollux's toenails. Better. Mooey's exhausted. Anytime we go anywhere in the car, he just gets worn out. He is technically almost an old guy. We're going to have snacks. Everybody's probably going to take a nap. And we're just going to chill out and recover from that little vet visit. Um, that little vet visit ended up costing me $210. And you're saying, what? I know, I said the same thing. But normally it's $10 to get their toenails trimmed, and it was. They charged $16 to get the hair out of Maxie's ears. Fine. But the vet said, hey, Renee, do you know Maxie's due for his annual shots? And I did know that, in fact. And normally, I take Maxie every year during the month of February to get his teeth cleaned. And while he's asleep, I like to have him get all his shots and do all the things while he's asleep so he doesn't know it. He does not have an appointment to get his teeth cleaned until late, late into February. And since he's due for his shots and all that stuff next week, we just decided to go on and do it while we were there. Ah, so that resulted in an unexpected $210 vet bill. Oh well, gotta be done. You're gonna hear me so much better now, Moo, with all that chicken out of his ears, right? No more selective hearing. The vet said Pollux did such a good job. He's trying to listen to me. He was a better boy than they expected him to be, and all is well. <sighs> what a day. I'm on the hunt for a new groomer. I've tried all of the groomers in Paducah. Didn't really care for any of them, other than this one lady that we've been going to for a, a lot of years, and she no longer lives here, so <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to do. But we'll see you later.